<laughs> Hi everyone, I just had to show you that view behind me. It is gorgeous but I can't film from that direction. All right, hi everyone. So uh, as you can tell, I am not in Uvita anymore. Um, yesterday I traveled from Uvita about five hours back north to San Jose. We dropped off some of the members of our um, yoga teacher training group at the airport in San Jose yesterday. And then I actually continued on about another 40 minutes up into the highlands behind San Jose. Um, I'm actually staying very close to Poes Volcano. And uh, it's an absolutely gorgeous view here, as you can tell. So just to catch you up, yesterday morning, we graduated from our yoga 200 hour teacher training. So I want to show you a few clips of that. interesting to me about this beach is I can actually hear howler monkeys in the forest behind us. So the forest, well, here's the ocean behind me, and the forest is right over there. <laughs> So this is yeah. a sloth. Is this is all oh. right in the middle of that tree. Oh, I can walk over here. He looks like an alien. I think I sleep in the day. to Poets. So I could not be in a more different location right now. About seven hours ago I was in 95 degree heat or ooh there's a strange bug in here. What is that? Oh my gosh what is this? Okay, got distracted by an insect as per usual. Pretty normal here in Costa Rica to have that happen. Uh, so what was I saying? So earlier today, I graduated from my yoga teacher training, 200 hours, three weeks, it's all over with. Can't believe it. There were some moments where I thought it would never end. And now that it's over, I'm like, where did the time go? <laughs> um, so that was amazing. At 6 a.m. this morning, I was doing <laughs> I was doing acro yoga in a jungle. It was about 35 degrees Celsius and full humidity, and uh, which is about 90s Fahrenheit. And yeah, I can't believe I was doing that at 6:30 a.m. It's currently about 9 p.m. and I am above, as you can tell. I'm above the city of San Jose, Costa Rica. I decided to have one final adventure before leaving Costa Rica. My flight is in the afternoon tomorrow. Um, so at the last minute, I changed my hotel reservation and I found a hotel here, which is only about 30 kilometers from San Jose. It's actually not that far distance wise. It did take an hour to get up here from about where the airport is. Um, tomorrow it should take about 40 minutes to get back down. And um, I decided to come up here, number one, because I just read a review online that the views were great, which the review was not lying. So um, that was one of the reasons. 
And then the other reason I came here was because I, um, I've actually wanted to visit a coffee plantation. The coffee here is amazing. I've been drinking Costa Rican coffee for years. In fact, when I lived in Chile, I, the best coffee I ever had was Costa Rican. Um, I used to buy Costa Rican coffee whenever I could when I lived in South America. And so, and yeah, even now living in North America, I still try to find Costa Rican coffee still my favorite. So I kind of had a hard time leaving Costa Rica without visiting like a coffee coffee plantation, basically. Um, so I came up to this region. I'm in Poes, which is also near a volcano that erupted two years ago. Um, so hopefully it won't erupt tonight. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, and then basically uh, tomorrow morning at 9am, I'm going to go on a coffee tour. So I'm really excited to do that and to video that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the update of where I am on my trip. Um, I love the place where I'm staying. The current owners are super nice. They fed me a really great dinner, um, a glass of wine. <laughs> we sat by the fire. Oh yeah, because I forgot to mention um, the contrast from this morning is that it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 14 degrees Celsius, um, and yeah, so I went from the 90s to the 50s, basically. I'm at a pretty high elevation. I'm actually not sure what my elevation is. I'll check it and let you know. So that is, that's the story. If that's where I'm at, I'm pretty tired, so I'm actually going to go to bed so that I can wake up really early tomorrow and take lots of photos um, do a video, do some more of this video stuff, and, um, yeah, go get, go get some fresh coffee. Apparently I get to pick coffee on this tour, and I get to plant a coffee plant, so I'm pretty excited about that. I will leave a link to where I'm staying in the description box down below, because already I know that I would highly recommend it. One more thing, because I don't think the camera's going to do it justice. I have to tell you, so the city's down here, that's these lights. Then there's this layer of clouds. And there's actually some smoke because there are um, some forest fires going on because there has been a bit of a dry spell here. So some of that's clouds, some of it's smoke. And then up above, which I'm not sure my camera's picking up, but up above are like the most incredible stars. So this is kind of amazing. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is my last morning in Costa Rica. I am flying out early this afternoon. Um, what I'm doing is I'm actually visiting a coffee farm this morning before I fly back home. Uh, I just managed to barely squeeze in one last tourist activity. I was here in Costa Rica for three weeks. I definitely didn't get to see as much as I would have liked. I knew that would happen because I was really here for the yoga program and not to tour around Costa Rica. Um, but I just kind of had a craving to see something different this morning, so here I am. This is an, an amazing view. <laughs> I'm at Hacienda Alsacia, which probably has the best, it's basically a Starbucks plus an actual um, land where they grow the coffee. And it probably has the best view of any Starbucks I've ever been to. And I've been to a lot of Starbucks. Sorry, but I have. <laughs>
coffee picking competition. That's what I picked off of this lovely. Man, you're really colorblind. Those glasses. Thank you so much for watching my Costa Rica series of videos. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel on similar topics. And if you have any questions for me, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.